scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. That's the profession of faith. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Speak forth your profession of faith. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me let every infirmity hear you let every situation hear you your love that rescued me lives in me chapter 2 and verse 14 we're going to pray the bible says having spoiled principalities and powers blotting out every handwriting and ordinance that was against us which was contrary to us he took it out of the way nailing it to his cross 15 it says and having spoiled principalities the word spoiled there means to plunder them he made a show of them openly triumphing over them in it we are going to pray and we are going to shake off everything provided it was nailed to the cross it must be nailed in your life today are you ready to pray lift your voice in one minute and declare when you rose again everything that was not God died and I declare by the spirit of grace I am a child of God and everything that is not with the Christ must let me go now. Lift your voice and pray. We are praying. Someone pray. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome, babe. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Declare to the realm of the spirit. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be
Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Everything that is not of God that is in this place and in your life is about to give up now. Listen. Please do not keep quiet. In the next one minute, I'd like you to call by name everything you know was nailed to the cross that is a concern in your life and tell it in the name of Jesus it's time to go. Poverty was nailed to the cross. Cost is unyoked. Delay was nailed to the cross. Is someone praying, Koinonia pray, inside, outside, following online, decree and declare, we establish the victory of the Christ over situations and circumstances, over my health, over my children, over my job, I declare up from the grave, he arose in victory and a partaker of that victory. Politicians pray, business people pray, heads of parliament pray. Break every pain, every handwriting, every cost, every yoke, every manipulation of darkness. I come against you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. This is the time to pray. Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Pray for your children. They come under the city of Christ. Pray for your job, your business, your ministry. Pray for your family. Hallelujah. Look at me. Look at me. When they came to look for his body, they said he is risen. He is no longer here. That means I can't be, I can't be where you knew me yesterday and where you met me yesterday. The Bible says up from the grave. He arose. You're going to declare your advancement in Christ. Lord, I reject this position. I declare by the Spirit, prophetically, I'm moving forward. I was raised up. I must rise up. I was raised up. Now I must rise up in destiny. Never remaining down. Never remaining limited. Someone pray. You came to church to pray. Make decrees. Husband and wife. Pray. Business people. Pray. Decree and declare. We establish victory over this home, over this ministry, over this family. You are not wasting your time. You are ascending levels in the spirit. This is Koinonia. As you pray, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, the grave could not hold him. The grave cannot hold you. Failure could not hold him. Failure cannot hold you.
Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. This I know. You have won it all for me. That could not hold you down. Hallelujah. Who is Gideon? I'm hearing a name Gideon. Who is Gideon? Gideon. I'm hearing a name Gideon. Where are you coming from? Gariki. Gariki. Where? Gariki. 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 Yes. You're Gideon. What's your name? I want to pray for you. I'm seeing the Lord bring a very great miracle to the family of Gideon. As a result of this supernatural miracle, miracles are happening here. Miracles are happening here. Is your name Gideon? My your father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands towards you. According to the word of the Lord, I decree and declare the grace that establishes the victory of Christ over your lives and your families. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we are talking of the power that raised Christ here from the dead. Help them, please. Please, ushers, please, let's be sensitive. We are talking of the power that raised Christ from the dead. that you will never be the same the visitation comes to your family comes to you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now i'm going to pray please i want you to bring them out the lord is showing me 25 people i'm seeing the number 25 these people have gone through circles i'm seeing repeatable patterns over their lives and their family what is happening to someone is what is happening to another person unconnected right now i'm seeing fire just resting on people father inside and outside i declare that everyone here at this resurrection they bring them out who is under the yoke of patterns patterns of witchcraft patterns of devilish activities at the count of three in the name of Jesus, may that fire rest from you. Bring them out. One, two, three. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. Please help them whether you are an usher or not. The benefits of Easter. Setting the captives free. I stretch my hands again. Across the balcony. The overflows. Anyone here. You came from Koinonia and there is a pattern of witchcraft that will not let you go, will not let your family go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, you come under judgment, the judgment of the Christ. Bring them out. Everyone lift your voice and begin to pray. Please pray. Victory is being established in our lives. Enough is enough. There must be an opening of the gates. Kata la kata 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 kata. If it is true that he made a public show of principalities, if it is true that every cost and every ash kata 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 brought to the battle, it must come to an end over your life. Now look up, please. I'm still praying. There are people here, good things come to you, but just when you are about to handle it, failure, even at the edge of success, 
I'm seeing fire fall, my God. Anyone under the sound of my voice, the spirit that is back of it, here in the name of the resurrected Christ, we declare they catch fire now. Bring them out. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh Hallelujah Now look up please The Lord is breaking patterns of death There are families every year you must bury someone In the name of Jesus I declare if there is any family that death is eyeing now I declare and decree Death passes over your family now We are praying The Lord is healing someone right now We will soon wrap up but I am seeing someone you have an issue with your back this is what the lord is ministering to me i don't know if it's whatever issue it is check it right now the power of god is touching you check it right now the power of god is touching you someone i don't know if you are wearing a, a neck collar is it a neck collar or a bracelet or whatever it is you have a problem with your neck check it right now a miracle is happening to you i'm about to pray for the stick i believe in miracles I believe in the victory of Jesus. I don't know who I'm speaking to. Anyone sitting on what is yours. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. Hear me. I speak as one sent by God. Anyone sitting on what is yours. Right now. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. For families, I overturn. For businesses, I overturn. For politicians, I overturn. I'm hearing a name faith who is faith faith you're wearing a black scarf faith who is that please let's ushers let's help so that we don't make this place rowdy please please can we have some ushers here so that we don't make this place rowdy please don't just come out carelessly Make it my, make it my, make it my. Make it, make it go, make it my. Make it my, make it my, make it my. Make it my, make it my, make it my. My sister, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of her life Jesus. now. Never to return again. Help this one. In the name of Jesus, anyone here who is under any influence that is not of the Christ, I stand by the spirit of grace and I decree and declare unto you, this night it comes to an end now. There is someone here you are looking for your brother he's been missing where is that person your brother has been missing please hear what i'm saying don't just come out at random god bless you you can return back to your seat and pray for you this one's in front please quickly we have a few minutes we have to wrap up very quickly 
the Lord is showing me someone whose brother has been missing it's time to call them back home how long yes who, who else again please let's hurry up we have to save time how long what's his name he been about house for he been about house for where Pukuma, we are from River State. Calm down, my, my sister. You are before Jesus. The first miracle. Who is this gentleman? Are you together? Your brother too, Jesus. You are together? Oh, okay. Come, my sister. The first miracle is not to the person missing. The first miracle is to you. I'm seeing a door open before you. What do you do? What do you do? I'm a civil servant. You're a civil servant. Yes. I'm seeing you start a business. This is what the Lord is showing me. And this business will move you in a way that will surprise you. I stretch my hands and I pray. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Everyone who is missing and still alive, no matter where they are across the globe, the grace that took the animals from where they were and brought them to Noah's ark, I command in the name of Jesus that grace finds your loved ones and brings them back home. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is it Jephthah? I'm hearing a name Jephthah. Jephthah. You are up, you are in one of these balconies. Jephthah. Is there someone like that? Just let him come. I want to just speak to him and then we're done. Lay your hands, those trusting God for healing. I want to pray right now. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing. Jesus, I Let's in your name. What's your name, sir? Jephta. From where? Ocean State. I want Abu to Jai. pray for you. Next month, May, is going to be a strange month for you and your family. Amen! Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, one of the graces that God has put here is a grace that insists that you will never be at the same level you have to believe this whilst we do not serve God because of things our attention is on Jesus but there are consolations to our Christian experience we don't serve God and remain at the same level sir doctor sir that's madam I'm seeing an anointing coming on your wife Dr. Shwaibu sir I'm seeing the anointing and the Lord is saying that there is a dimension of the prophetic that is on her and there is a dimension of favor he's also bringing upon her i stretch my hands by the spirit of grace and in the name of jesus christ the lord will begin to open to you very strange things in dreams visions prophetic encounters in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ help her please there is someone here your father is a member now I, I know that you most likely will find a lot of people but I am seeing the Lord is asking me to pray an avert assassination from, I'm seeing this is this is a member of house of assembly federal house this is someone on a journey and I'm seeing like an accident and all of a sudden they just kill this man for nothing. I'm not a prophet of doom. We are ministers of life. We stand in the name of Jesus. There may not be time to call that person and there may be multiple people and this is not to inflict fear. Please hear me. Don't misunderstand what we're saying. God reveals so that he will redeem in the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever plans evil for you, may their evil fall upon them. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit how many of you here you don't have to come out just lift your hands you are trusting God for supernatural jobs I just sense that there is a grace in this place please believe it you've had the testimonies God is a God of miracles in the name of Jesus some of you are standing for your loved ones I declare by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead between now and the next three months by the power of prophecy return with strange testimonies return with strange testimonies hallelujah listen when God granted me the grace and the privilege to lie down in Baba Deboye's prayer room I was alone in that prayer room and when I rested my head I said Lord the only grace that I desire in this place even though you have shown me mercy the grace for answered prayer you have placed something upon this father of faith that was one of the things I told the Lord I said since you granted me the privilege to lie down in the same prayer room where he lies to pray my prayer is that what you placed upon him that makes these declarations to not fall to the ground may it come upon me and I'm standing now to speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ who is the helper of men please hear me every door that has refused to open over your life and over your destiny in the name of Jesus if the door of the grave opened then may the door of your destiny open if the door of the grave opened may the door of your destiny open 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 Ephata. open 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 we break every lock open go forward advance in the name of jesus the bible says an angel came from heaven rolled away the stone when it was time for lazarus to come out he said roll the stone before manifestation the stone that blocks you blocks your visibility there are stones that sit on people's businesses sit on their career in the name of jesus the same angel that rolled away that stone we declare from heaven by the ministry of angels every stone stopping your visibility in the name of jesus the christ let it be rolled away now hallelujah let me tell you an interesting story something happened while I was coming in I was on my way and in the aircraft I was tired just wanted to rest on my way here and then the man who was sitting close to me he probably may even be here listen all of a sudden this man looks at me and he says sir your face looks familiar and I stretched my hands I said I'm Joshua Selman he said I can't believe this and he sent his wife a text and said you can't believe who I'm sitting close to and he showed me something you know these things they do on social media maybe a picture of somebody running in shock something like that and I told him I said sir I don't know you but whoever prayed for you before you got on this plane you should find that person and bless that person because I told him as soon as you sit down here all of a sudden my eyes were open I began to talk to him about things about his life and I said but look how favor can locate a man 50 minutes flight alone with this man talking with him praying with him let me tell you you see but this favor you see please listen listen favor can take you and the help of your destiny and just put you together believe what I'm telling you I'm saying that because I want I will never stop praying it until your life becomes an expression of the favor of God hallelujah 
I once had a story of I think a general also in the army or maybe some big man general and he wanted to send a text to someone that he had discussed the issue of employment for someone then he sent it to a wrong number now listen the person who got it rejoiced and he replied he said thank you sir and the general now felt bad and said how do I the way this man has said thank you so many times how do I now tell him you are not the one listen listen this is a true story that someone finished laboring just to send a text and say mr man come the spirit of god said no someone is there is a grace on a, a person hear me abuja is not a very big city the voice of god is loud enough to reach all the six local governments in this city and it is able to fish out whoever has been anointed not everybody capable was sent to help you not everybody available was sent to lift your hands joseph of arimathea was there to help jesus come down from the cross to the grave simon the nigger was there to help carry the cross even if you are jesus you still need help in this journey of destiny the Holy Ghost is called a helper. I want to pray for people here because you are carrying loads by yourself. Financial loads. Intellectual loads. Some of you have court cases and there is no one to help you. Some of you have issues. You need help. In this kingdom, who hates you does not matter. But believe me when I tell you who likes you matters. I stand by the God of heaven and I pray. Whoever must speak for you, Whoever must arise by the Spirit of God here at this ground in the name that is above all names, I place grace on your life. May your helpers find you. We call them from the parliament, we call them from the presidency. We call them from their homes. Let divine coincidences connect you to them in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what led me to pray this prayer but you see we don't just pray carnally i believe in what i'm saying listen to me there are some of you your dreams and your visions will remain in the realm of the spirit until god is able to find a man directed through prophecy to your life my life is a product of what helpers can do one genuine helper sent by god can turn your life around hear me not every intelligent person has the luxury of finding visibility among kings there are times you are capable but you don't have access to the gate you will need someone who is already at the gate oh joseph even though you can interpret dreams if the wine presser does not talk to the king to call you help her please help her please we're wrapping up but please understand every time you come here there is no service that is regular. God is doing something definite. It's called koinonia. When God is speaking, he's addressing specific cases. See, I bow my knees to my God whom I serve. You don't have to kneel, but I pray for you. Anybody who needs to be in your life this week, I call upon the God of my covenant. May they show up for you. May they show up for you. Koinonia. Daria, Abuja, Global, may they show up for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The ministry of destiny help us are real believe what I tell you you don't have to know them you can wake up one morning and someone can call you and say God gave us an instruction that every month for the rest of your life this is what we should do for you Th there is such a thing like that it's not a license for laziness 
but don't listen to that narrative that you must suffer and walk through everything what then is the excellency of the cross please hear me there are some of you in this city abuja you are the only one fending for yourself if god does not send help you will compromise because of pressure i pray for you again may my god raise helpers for you may my god raise men and women to help you please listen to me simple things become very easy when a helper is in your life easy things become difficult when you are standing on your own listen a man of god was about to start ministry and he went to god's servant bishop david Oedeko for an advice and he looked at him i'm not yoruba but he spoke to him he said this is the advice i will give you and he spoke in yoruba he said never fight alone that was the advice you fight alone without any backing you will die alone there are many of you fighting spiritual battles there is no prophetic backing that is standing with you listen please hear what i'm telling you you are in the midst of people you know if they have a chance to kill you if you're a politician here please hear me it takes more than the ability to deliver a mandate the king priest prophet spiritual formation can never be broken unbelievers know this you are a businessman you are in the midst of people you are calling upon the name of the lord you know these people have vowed god knows your heart he sees your heart he knows that jesus will be exalted through your life and here they come this is the advantage of the prophetic to stand in partnership with the holy ghost as a support system everything fighting you fighting your family fighting your destiny in the name of jesus christ it goes down now it goes down now it goes down now two more prayers and we're done two more prayers and we're done The Lord is bringing restoration. Listen, there are doors that open before. It opened once. You tasted of the blessing of that door. It may be access to a man. It may be access to a helper. It may be access to a level of grace. I'm speaking prophetically. Some of you tasted of the grace for the miraculous. You tasted of certain anointings. You tasted of the grace for prayer and intercession. You tasted of the grace to fast. You could wake up in the night and pray for five hours. But something happened. Like the hair of Samson. Let me pray for someone. Receive a restoration of grace. Everything that was once in your life. And has gone back. I call it forth by prophecy. I call it forth by prophecy. I call it forth by prophecy. Please hear me. I'm saying it again. I don't know what left you. I stand by the power of the Holy Ghost. And in the name of Jesus, here at this resurrection service, I declare, let it return to you now. Relationships return. Finances return. Help us return. Grace is return. Opportunities return. final prayer for tonight look at me yesterday night I was so tired I just wanted to rest and the next thing I saw was someone who was standing and I just saw like knives knives on like incisions on the body listen to me I believe in this season 
Satan is, is working to use sickness as a tool to destroy people's finances. Hear what I'm telling you. I'm speaking to you under the unction of prophecy. Mysterious infirmities that just come out of nowhere and start wasting your resources. You will treat it, it will not go until your finances dry down. Or for some of you who seem to be the breadwinners of families, all of a sudden the devil afflicts those around you and he puts pressure on you. The waster. We must take authority over the waster. The Bible says, A body has thou prepared for me. Every parent here, you will not bury your children. Every parent here, you will not bury your children. He said, Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day, the noisome pestilence, the destruction that wasted in noonday. Please hear me. Infirmity is a spirit. In the name of Jesus, I declare every manifestation of the spirit of infirmity over lives and families that the waster is taking advantage of to dry up your resources frustrate your christian experience and cause you to count god unfaithful we declare that spirit banished from your life every sick body here be healed every sick body be healed blood conditions be healed migraines be healed bone conditions be healed help them please help that woman be healed now be healed now be healed now every negative report that is a death sentence over your life or you have loved ones in the name of jesus we cancel it right now peptic ulcer be healed migraines be healed Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lift your hands and just wave it to Him as an act of worship. Zaria, wave your hands. Abuja, wave your hands. Our global family. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. You are mighty. And we give you praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now listen to me i give you one assurance in the name of the lord in the name of the lord Amen. by the time you are coming here next week you will return with testimonies that will dumbfound you Your hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching